Next, we are going to change the font and font size in our spreadsheet. Currently, we are in cell A1. Inside of the font grouping on the Home tab, you'll notice that Calibria is currently selected as our font. You'll look at, click the down arrow, and you'll see the different themes or the different fonts that we have. You'll notice as you scroll over the different fonts, the cell A1 changes and you can see the various fonts and how they will appear. We want to scroll through here and we want to find Times New Roman. So I'm going to scroll all the way down. Whoops. Mouse pad got in my way. Scroll all the way down to Times New Roman. So now we have that font in Times New Roman. I also want to change my font size. Currently it's an 11 point font. I want to change that to a 20. I can click the Increase Font button. That is the A with the arrow pointing up. The Decrease font is the arrow pointing down next to the A. I can increase it one two clicks and that changes it up to a 24. I want to go ahead and format a few more selections. I'm going to select A3 through J3. I'm going to right click. I'm going to go to my font list up here on the mini toolbar. And here I'm going to select Times New Roman. I can also start typing T I and it's going to start pulling up the selection of the fonts that match that. So I can select Times New Roman. And I also want it to be a 14. So I select 14 on the mini toolbar. Now I'm going to click off of that Make sure you save your work. Now I'm going to do Control Home. Remember Control Home always takes me back to A1. Here in A1 I want the heading to be bold. So here in the font grouping I'm going to select B for bold. Now I'm going to click inside of cell A3. I want this one to be underlined. So I'm going to click the underlined U in the font grouping. I also want it to be italicized. So I'm going to click the I. And if I want it to be bold, I'll click bold as well. That way it gets all three selections. Now if you'll remember from Word, we're going to use Format Painter. So I'm going to click the Format Painter button, and then I'm going to select the range A1 through H1. No, I'm sorry, B3 through J3. B3, B3, and let go. That just makes it quicker to format what I'm needing. Now, let's select the range A1 through H1. A1 through H1. Instead of this one cell taking up this many columns, I'm going to merge my cell and make it one cell. So after I have A1 through H1 selected, I'm going to select Merge and Center. If you'll notice, part of my stuff starts disappearing. We'll take care of that in just a moment. Next I'm going to select A3 through J3. I want each of these headings to be centered. So here in Alignment, I'm going to select Center Alignment. Make sure you save your work as you go so that you don't have to come back and readjust and redo each of these. Next, I'm going to position my mouse pointer on the line between column A and column B. Here's column A. 